Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Oh, come on, you serious? Hello, all you Wookiee warriors out there. I'm joined with Amber. She's hiding off the camera. And Austin of a -Roz Games. We're going to be unboxing this monster of a computer. And while I am unscrewing it and sweating my butt off, he's going to be reading you the pros and cons of my computer. And so if there's any components in my computer you guys might want to put into your build, you guys can do so. Austin, take it away. All right, so I'm going to be doing the hard work while Brian gets to sit back there and have fun. Uh, I'm going to move so they can see you do that. All right, so basically what he's got running here is the case or the chassis, depending on what you go, is the Genesis chassis. And I believe that is exclusive to Origin. I don't think you can find that anywhere else. Um, the features of it is you're going to get side panels with the tempered glass aluminum. Um, the glass is really, really, really awesome. The reason... That the, the good and the downside of aluminum is aluminum is very reflective of heat. So when the computer gets hot, it pushes that heat out instead of absorbing it and overheating in general, which is a good quality to have. The downside of aluminum is it is very conductive to dust. So that can in turn cause your computer to become a lot dustier, a lot quicker. And uh, obviously you don't want a lot of dust on your computer because it clogs your fans, uh, sticks to your motherboard. It causes a lot of overheating issues and stuff like that. So good with the bad, the glass is a good way to have the sides because usually that helps deter from a lot of that dust buildup. Um, his exterior color is going to be black, red, and he got interior lighting of red, which is probably your most common color lighting on the inside. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I think red really is. I'm surprised they didn't give you an RGB feature on this build, but... I think the colors changed. Do they change? Yeah, because it just says interior lighting is origin PC red. Which is probably actually just the red from the motherboard, because I have a Tomahawk B450, which gives off an automatic red light. Um, which is, is pretty common now with a lot of gaming motherboards. I'm not entirely sure why they started doing that. Probably just because it looks pretty, you know. Alright, so. Um, skip over some of the stuff. So he has a CPU, which is the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core which is actually a very solid chip. Uh, in case you guys ever sit there and question yourself, like, do I want Intel or do I want uh, uh, AMD? It just depends on what you're going to be using it for. If you're going to find that a lot of what you do is going to be video editing, um, music editing, anything along the realms of creativity and creating, you're going to probably want to steer more towards the Intel. It just uh, performs a lot better for multitasking. And uh, that's actually not even super true with the new stuff that just came out because now uh, AMD is in Ryzen are starting to actually create processors that are outperforming the i9s. So uh, that's tr more true for the 9s that we're talking about now. Um, so if you're looking for more, let's just say, creativity-orientated behavior in your computer, you're going to want to aim more towards the Intel at this point, um, because it just has a lot of uh, stability, a lot more stability when it comes to multitasking and to using higher performance outputs like editing and stuff like that. Because it's not hard to have a computer that will let you edit, but it's hard to have a computer that will let you watch in 4K real time and uh, also be making micro cuts and a lot of edits to a lot of that stuff and give you that true color for painting and artwork on there. But when it comes to gaming, when it comes to gaming performance, AMD is the high-end winner, in my opinion. Uh, the, they're, they're literally specifically designed just to give you that the best gaming experience. They're literally just meant. You can still edit. You can still do a lot of other things on there. It's just not as optimized for that. It's more for power for gaming. Um, so he's got that, which comes at its base rate of, I believe, it's 3.8 gigahertz. And when you turbo boost it, that kicks it up to 4.6 gigahertz, which basically all that means is um, overclocking. So overclocking is basically just changing the amount of electricity that goes to the processor or goes to the parts because you can also overclock your RAM and overclock a lot of other variables in your computer. Um, but that is the safest allowance that it recommends because if you go any higher, you can start damaging parts. So it can be overclocked to a 4.6 gigahertz uh, which will give you a lot more performance. It will 
it will give you a lot more bang for your buck out of that chip. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it came overclocked or if that's something we'll have to adjust, but we can look at it through the uh, bio system when we power up and we'll, it'll tell us everything we need to know right through there. Um, so uh, that's the processor that it came with, which in my opinion is a phenomenal processor. Very good job on there. Uh, the motherboard is a Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite, which um, is not by any means a bad motherboard in my opinion, but for the power of the Ryzen 9 and the amount of RAM they're putting into this machine, um, I'm actually surprised they went with such a low-end, cheaper option. It's not the lowest end you can go. You can get some pretty low-end motherboards out there, but it is definitely, um, just definitely you're not getting your bank for your bucks with this high-end equipment you're putting in. You're putting in a great processor, you're putting in a great uh, video card or graphics card, you're putting in um, high-end gaming RAM. Why not just throw the extra bucks and get that high-end motherboard because it, it optimizes it a lot better, gets you more bang. Um, then that also comes with uh, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance, 3,000 megahertz of RAM. And uh, I don't know if he got the RGB because I don't think they technically state, but if you guys are going to get this RAM, I suggest the RGB RAM because it's freaking amazing. That's what I got from my computer. All it does is it like on the actual strips of RAM, it just pulses every single color down in a row you can't i don't think you can really change it or mess with it a lot but i like the look of it it looks cool but he's got the vengeance ram that i believe is probably non-rgb um but it's a great gaming ram great performance um he went with 32 gigabytes which is not bad it's it's a it's a good way to go he was telling me before that this system came like they technically wanted to push 64 there was options. It was uh, 32 gigs, 16 gigabytes, or 64. Yeah, 64. Which, by the way, if you guys if you guys ever see anything where you're like, RAM, RAM, RAM. Uh, if you guys do not know what RAM specifically does, RAM, at a lower standpoint, will definitely enable or inhibit your gaming. But there's kind of this common ground. If you have 16 gigs of RAM, that's really all you need for gaming. I'm serious. If you have 32, you're not going to see... The improvement, the improvement of your gaming is going to be so minute you won't notice it. it I'm serious. RAM is more, uh, let's see, it's more important in the sense of editing. Like when you are editing and you're trying to watch your video in 4K while editing it and in the background have other things going on, that is the most strain on your RAM. 32 gigabytes for your average in-home editor with their average equipment and your average gaming, 32 is more than enough. Now, if you are the kind of person who is going to be like me at some point, we're, we're going to be buying an actual 4K video camera, like $1,500 camera, and we're going to be trying to work on skits, movies, small projects like that, then you might want to be getting up in the realm of 64 gigs because we're going to be doing a lot with a lot of stuff, and we want it to be as smooth and seamless as possible. But unless you're up in that kind of area, it's really not necessary. Don't ever fall into these like cave-ins where a lot of people try to sell you that stuff where they're like, oh, you need this processor, you need this amount of RAM to be the best gamer out there. I'm serious. It really does not change much of anything when it comes to your standard game. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I got to go get the battery. Yeah? You having fun with it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it sounds like you're having fun. All right, so that is the memory. So... What he went for the cooling system is they have an Origin RGB Frostbite 120 sealed liquid cooling system. I actually have no knowledge of this. I, I don't really ever deal with Origin. I haven't ordered any of their products. I'm sure they make great products, but I prefer to build everything on my own. And Origin, as far as I know, does not sell anything that they have individually like a lot of other companies do. So, he does have a sealed liquid cooling system. Now, when you guys hear that, you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. And even though that case back there is pretty amazing, the first thing we are checking before we even turn that on is to make sure that none of that liquid cooling leaked. Because that is the biggest and most common destruction to a computer that has liquid cooling. Because they ship it with liquid in it. Not the best idea. They should just send you instructions on how to fill it yourself. That, in two, can be a huge pain in the ass. But I, I, I feel better doing that because... I'll know if I spilled. I won't know if they did, you know. But um, liquid cooling pretty uh, typically comes with a clear water fluid. You can actually upgrade and change that to colors if you want. Uh, 
It can cause small things like gunking and clogging over the course of two to three years, but at the same time, who cares because it looks cool, you know? But his is liquid cooled, which is what you really, really want. I, I'm a big I'm a big believer that if you are gaming or editing, you want to start going the liquid cooled route <clears throat> for this main reason. When you're gaming and you hit those throttles and all of a sudden your computer, like despite the fact like you were playing Fortnite or well, Apex. They actually send me the configuration in the box. Nice. So you ever play a game and you're doing fine and everything's running smooth as butter and then all of a sudden it's skipping, it's lagging, it's glitching out. The reason behind that is because your motherboard, your processor, and your RAM is getting so hot, it's starting to misfire electricity. It's 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 hitting max capacity and pushing itself down. So when you properly cool something, it performs more stable, it performs a lot better, and you get more bang for your buck out of it. So that way when we overclock his processor, it won't have issues like overheating. The reason I haven't overclocked my processor yet is because I don't have liquid cooling, I just have fans, which isn't bad for cooling it now but if i overclock that sucker she's gonna get hot because it's weird i'll play any game i want and it's totally fine i throw on fortnite and it sounds like my computer's gonna explode but that's definitely something you want to be very very careful about is always 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 make sure that the cooling system is in there you can actually check your temps of your computer from inside your computer uh i think they have an option through task manager on windows 10 otherwise there's a lot of programs out there um Good thing I watched a video on how to unbox this, where I'll be making a lot of mistakes. Why? It's just it's just a box. I mean, you how how wrong could you unbox it? I don't know. I would have thrown it against the wall by now. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, see? How? see? I would have like, well, that, that would actually be pretty hilarious. Like you unscrewed it, and all of a sudden, just like it melted or something. <laughs> like, oh, I did it wrong. It's like, oh, it's the third. They warned before the second me. Screw. They warned me if you unscrew it wrong, it turns to liquid. Okay. So, uh, sorry, I'm just being a smart ass. <laughs> um, okay, and uh, that's pretty much that basically show. it. Oh, so good. Obviously, it's going to come with your Corsair fans because the fans usually go by the radiator and blow through the radiator to keep the water and the liquid inside cool. Um, he also got the NVIDIA 8 gigabyte GeForce RTX 2080 Super Bowler. That is his uh, graphics card. Uh, my biggest suggestion for graphics cards, and I really truly mean this, is when they say, oh, you get the better one, you get better graphics, you get this, you get that. That is absolutely true. But only if you have the equipment to support it. If you have like a BenQ 4K monitor, you'll notice it. Or if you have those high-end like Asus like two grand or 500 to two grand monitors, you're gonna notice it. If you have just a standard monitor, like I use, I don't use anything special because I'm not a competitive gamer. I game for entertainment. I don't care if it looks like Play-Doh. I used to play Atari. Do you know what Atari was? It I sucked. Used to play Atari. I I couldn't even tell. Like I played Frogger and I didn't know for years that was a frog. I didn't know until it was on the PlayStation. I don't care if my graphics suck. Um, but it's it, it, it's not giving you a competitive advantage, just so you guys know that. For those of you who are like, oh, I can kick some serious ass in CSGO or Fortnite, it's not giving you that competitive advantage. It's only going to help heighten if you have the money to spend even just as much as you spend it in monitors. That's all it's really giving you. Um, so if you guys are looking to cut costs and have a good, powerful computer and not worry about that stuff, don't worry about your graphics card so much. Like, seriously, I use a 1066 gigabyte. She's amazing. She does everything I need her to do, and it's, in my in my opinion, it's perfect. So that's what I'm saying. If you guys want to cut costs, you don't have to go that exp expansive. Um, but that's going to give him a real good bang for his buck. And the reason Ryan bought this computer, and his advantage over me building mine, is that his computer is going to be a good computer for at least the next six to eight years. He won't have to adjust, adapt update anything i'm gonna have to update mine probably every two years but the balance out part is is that we're basically spending the same amount of money because they will i will probably spend about four thousand dollars over the course of the next six to eight years for upgrades but i didn't have to pay four thousand dollars all at once that's the downside of buying that sure it takes well, it care of it for eight years plan, but i don't didn't want to wait and uh pay like a hundred or two hundred dollars. well yeah because then you got to pay all the extra because like yeah. if they put you on a payment plan but I'm saying, so like, if you get it on a payment plan, that's fine, but then you're spending even more money. And I know each one is, is to their own. Ryan has been working his butt off and was excited about this, so this was not a bad investment for him. I'm just giving you guys the, the pros and the cons, so in case you're like, I really want a nice computer like this, but I can't afford it. I'm telling you, you guys can build your own for a lot cheaper 
and then just keep upgrading it and upgrading it and upgrading it. So that way you can have yours now without having to wait on that, which is the route I did. So we have both routes. We have the, the I don't want to do anything to my computer for eight years, and we have the I'm going to open my computer up every you know six months and have fun with it. Oh, I didn't catch it. I hope that wasn't important. Alright, so, um, basically, after that, for example, he has Windows 10 Home. He has a 5 bay hard drive cage. That's actually pretty nice. That means you can upgrade to five more hard or four more hard drives, because I'm sure it's got one in the bay already. Um, so it comes with a 1 terabyte Seagate Barracuda solid state drive, which is, in my opinion, the best hard drive to go with. Yeah, you should probably have one of each, that's in my opinion. Huh? You always want that's weird. an HD oh, yeah, for sure, and a free, uh, and, uh, 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 S for SD. Yeah. No, um, or HHD and it. SSD. So once a hard drive, once a solid state drive, solid state drive has a quicker transfer rate for data, which in my opinion would be what you want to put your right. programs, everything on, and then the hard drive is where you put all like the game saves and all that kind of stuff. So here's the bag with all the cords. Okay. I think we're just about done on here. So besides that, the only thing else I didn't go over was he has a Corsair 850X RMX Series Plus Gold power supply, wow, which is basically what no, you want. That's what you want. You want a high power supply to power all this stuff to make sure nothing shorts out. Well, it said mouse goals. pad. It didn't say mouse. That's a mouse. No. Well, they can't even say mat now. It is because mats get pretty big. Oh, yeah. I, my you mind, yeah, literally from that corner of the desk to that corner of the desk was my old mind. And Okay. I think that's everything. Oh, and he also got an internal capture card. The Elgato... Game Capture HD 60 Pro. I and used it did to come with four, um, into a 4K, but Ozen told me not to because most YouTubers, most YouTube content doesn't support 4K. No, it's not okay. YouTube. It's not oh. YouTube. It's OBS. OBS. Because you're going through OBS. OBS it maxes at 1080p, and it's not even a very clean 1080p in my opinion. So in my opinion, like unless he wants to go out and buy another program to support the 4K, it's it's not worth it for gaming videos, you know what I mean? Like, if he wants to do 4K videos of him recording stuff, just get a 4K camera. But that 4K, like, it, I, in my opinion, it's just, stuff. you're you're paying for something you're not even getting. So. All right. I, not be holding sharp knife. I was going to say, if you want, we can go ahead and stop this. I want to get a good picture of the computer as we get available. Oh, no, I was going to say, we can stop it, get it all set up, and then we can start it again, and then I can show you that editing program, and we can actually edit this okay. and make a nice video out of it. I have no idea with all this stuff in the boxes, guys. That's not a problem. So, guys, the computer is completely unboxed. Uh, we have not taken it out of its protective covering yet. So, we're going to actually end the video here. I don't know how long the video has gone on. 17 minutes. 17 minutes. So, we're going to be doing yet another vlog as a follow-up to this one. You guys will be able to see the computer as it's set up and it's in its full glory. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you guys on the next Angry Wookie Show. Hello, all you Wookie Warriors out there. I am coming back at you with a follow-up to the last video. We might join my buddy Austin of A-Ross Games and Amber, who is trying to hide from the camera, but I got her, um, from I Am Blah. Go, go check her out, guys. Show her some Wookie love. She's got two whole videos. She's got three. Let's try, and, let's try and get her to grow, right, guys? So, we just finished unboxing, as you can see behind me. And we're going to be putting it up on this this desk, which you can't can see. But and I love computers, so this isn't going to be gentle. So turn away if you're <laughs> You better be gentle. I have a lot of questions and no answers. You better be gentle with that computer. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, Austin is going to go ahead and take off. Hey! It's fine. It's, it's just... He's going to... He's going to break the computer. It's not broken. Please come off. Calm down. Here, do you want some help? No, it's not He's going to take the fabric off, hopefully without breaking it. I'm not going to break the computer. Are you going to break the fabric? I'm not going to break anything. You two shut up. It's not like you're doing anything. <laughs> I'm trying to offer my help, you just keep ignoring me. Alright, no, it's just I want this off, but they tucked it in. Yeah, they do that. Here. I don't even want to hear it, because when you break this, I'm going to have to fix it. 
He's right. <laughs> so there's the computer, guys. You want to know what the funny thing is when I lifted it from here? Because mm -hmm. this comes off. It even warns you not a lift point. <laughs> yeah. I, got, I kind of figured that. No, this comes off. Oh. Yeah, don't worry. It's not broken. Okay. Chill you on. didn't break it. It's cool. I already said I didn't break it. All of these, everything on this. I'm, I'm saying it for verification. Oh, we have to open this up. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We need to get to the desk. Dude. All right. Let's get everything off the desk. Uh, I don't know where we're going to put it. Just set it in the crate right here for now. Yeah. All right. Well, we don't need this no more. I thought it was almost, actually almost out of power. I'm surprised that lasted as long as it did. That sound like my mother when I had my son. Careful with him! Don't That's hold him like that! See, when I was It's my baby! If I want to hold him by his toes, I'll hold him by his toes. What? See, that's not what my mother said. She's like, ah! Pretty much. I'm just kidding. She actually said, oh, he's so cute. That mouse is going to work, right? What mouse? The one I just put over there. The, uh, Logitech? Oh, yeah, dude. It's, it's all USB. Okay. As long as it's USB, it will work fine. I was going to give you a mouse and keyboard, but I didn't buy an upgrade to keyboard yet. Well, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to probably pick up a bunch of stuff next month because uh, Black Friday. Oh, I thought you were going over there in my bed. You're good. Alright. Just grab the keyboard and this should be enough room. I just need room to work. We'll probably be having to do some work. And then if you want, Ryan, once we're all set up, you can even turn the webcam so we can see what's going on. Oh yeah, I'm fine doing it. So guys, when I turn the web, the computer is probably going to get a little jinky. I apologize. That's actually pretty slick. I think he's done it. I, I think he's done it like my computer, guys. It's worth four thousand dollars, but it's cool. Yeah. All right. So all right, the plan here is is I don't know what the computer does. Right there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and set it one ways on the desk. Amber, why don't you hold this, please? Okay. Alright, so. Alright, guys, I'm changing computer view. Alright. I'm sorry about the pole, guys. It's part of the house. I can't, I can't remove it. Okay, so I'll start with this side. Let's see what we got back here. Well, that's interesting. All right, cord is good. This is what you always want to check because sometimes they put weird shit in weird places. What is it? It's just an origin pad. But why it's there, I have no idea. It's it's probably origin, what, what, what is this for? You guys have seen my video. What is this for? Please tell us. Dude, that's actually a pretty, pretty awesome organization system right here. Yeah, they, they allow you to customize your full um, organization. All right, so we'll turn this so these guys can see a little better. But that is a very, very nice feature, which is something very overlooked on PCs nowadays, is that is phenomenal organization, of course. It's important. But at the same time, it does cause problems because everything is pretty locked in. So if you wanted to adjust, move, or upgrade, you don't have to try to get in there and cut these off without damaging a wire, which can be fun. Mm. But besides that, this thing is actually set up and organized very nicely. It looks slick. I like it. The panel comes off very easily without any actual problems, which is nice because these are typically the first and only things that bend when you uh, ship these things. So there. very impressed with the uh, the shifting. And the cool thing is like this just like I like the design of this. So it's hinged on this side, so it just slides up, and then this is just magnetized. And I kinda like that. That's actually pretty slick. Alright, so All right. I will admit the things the, the bells and whistle on this thing are pretty awesome. That is a very highlighted note. Uh, let, let's let's uh turn it so we can see this. Okay. We're running we're running into a problem. Wow. I have no idea where the hell your outports are on this thing. Are they not in the back? They're not. 
For HD Mines? Yeah. Here, watch that, bud. Let's see that. Let me take a look. They legitimately don't have... Alright, every time I look up, there's more parts just being opened on this thing. Seriously, like, I... there's... I thought it was... It's, it said HDMI compatible. I know, it's... yeah, it's supposed to have a port where we're supposed to put all the stuff in. I literally don't even see that. Alright, so what we're gonna do... Uh, be before, careful we, with this. before we open the glasses, turn it so we can see it. What we're gonna do here is very carefully... That should just swing open. Oh, that's so much easier. Alright, so this is sealed air just to keep everything. I'm not gonna lie, putting that in there like that is kind of stupid. Oh, so I think you're supposed to do something to it. No, no, that's how you inflate it. Okay. That's how they pack it. What they do is, like, you have it, you push the two buttons, it inflates, and then you form it and shove it in there. There we are. Oh, it's at the top. Okay, all right. So the thing that Ryan was freaking out that I broke comes off. Oh, okay. So this oh. comes off of the HDMI then. Yep. There's all your connects. So we have the Elgato there. We have the video card there. Bad news. Try oh, to hold the HDMI. Should I try to move the camera so we get a view on top, or...? Because that might be a little difficult because I'm using my laptop. Yeah, I don't really think you're going to be able to get a, a great view of that. But, I mean, the cool thing is when not is in that use, the dust screen you're talking about on yours? Yeah, so, like, all of them have one. So, basically, your ideal is, is you're going to hook everything up, run your cords mm -hmm. out through here, and then reattach this. So you won't even ever see your cords. The only downside is your video card does not have that VGA out, it only has an HDMI, so this is going to have to get hooked up directly to your TV. Okay. And Amber, can I have my phone, please? Yeah. Thank you very much. What we're going to do right now... If you need a flashlight, there's one right there. Oh, that's okay. Let me give you my phone. Okay. There's a $200 flashlight. How about my phone didn't charge all the way last night? Alright, so basically what I'm going to be doing here is checking to make sure everything they said comes with it is installed and properly hooked up, which does appear to be like that. You did not, in fact, get the RGB vengeance ram. It's just the standard, but that's okay because all that needs is it just doesn't glow as a processor. You do have the Elgato Gaming 90, which is good, the HD90 Pro. Um, you don't have to do this, but I'm incredibly anal, and I have bought computers before where they're like, oh, it comes with this, 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 and that. I open it up, it did not have any of that shit. They gave me, like, the most generic versions. You have the Geoforce RTX 2080. Why does it look like it's been used? Huh? It looks like it's been used already. Um, I've been tested. For shipping. It looks kind of improved. They probably just have parts that they recycle on. Don't make it out. Probably went into a build and they're actually shipped out. Um, there's the liquid cooling to the mount of the fan up there, so it's got everything it's that it comes with. I I think that actually lights up when it turns on too. That uh, the liquid cooling, mm -hmm. which would be pretty cool. The fans look like they're gonna glow. This thing's gonna be real purdy. And you got your one terabyte Seagate SSD. So you are set, sir. If I were you, if I would make a simple suggestion, I can install them and do them for you. I would invest in at least one or two more hard drives. Sure. A terabyte is not bad by any means, but if you're going to be doing editing, you're going to be doing YouTube, you're going to be doing all this stuff. Mm -hmm. you oh, yeah. I'm already, uh, I have that hard drive you see on my Xbox. It's two terabytes. I've already used up almost all of it just downloading all those games. It goes quick with games. It goes quick with editing. It goes quick with videos. It... Because imagine this, so you have a long video file that turns into two gigabytes, and now you're going to edit the video and output it in higher quality and all that stuff. That now turns into six gigabytes plus the two, so you now have mm. eight gigabytes. It adds up quick. So, what I would suggest we do is if you want to grab me one of those HDMI ports, we're uh, going to... We can remember where we uh, I put them in the uh, freedom there. Okay. What we're going to do is hook that up and run it to your TV. So this is going to be a little weird. Do you want me to switch my, turn my TV over a little bit? Uh, that is up to you, however you want to do it. Um, to be honest, 
If you're going to be running it through your TV and you have a wireless keyboard and mouse, are you just going to keep chilling in your chair and do everything from there? That's where I usually do things. That's not a bad idea, but... Can the camera that you have over is there... Is there any up? way... Is there, there's just one thing. Is there any way that we could reorganize to put the desk right next to your TV stand to keep the computer on there so that way the webcam can reach there? Because then technically you can do everything from there and have the webcam there. But the uh, webcam will only literally That might reach. be a little... That'll take a little bit because that VCR, I'd have to unconnect and move everything off that, move the... DVD holster and move that and try to make sure we move the cords so when everything nothing gets unplugged. Because one of the worst things about my room is the electric the outlet never got fixed. Yeah. So everything there is being powered from the outlet outside. Okay. And luckily that one's actually fine, which is why I chose it for the computer because it's not part of that mess. No, I got you. It's more just because the webcam. Uh, I'll grab the webcam. So I'm, I'm just showing you. Because I ran into this problem with this webcam a lot myself, and it was very annoying. So, if you're going to be sitting in your chair over there, your webcam, after plugged in, can reach this far. So, this is literally where it's going to be sitting, and having to look at you all the way over there, it's not going to look great. You know what I mean? Well, like I said, I can rotate my TV to any direction I want. Yeah. So, I'm going to have to move my PlayStation a little bit. Right. So, are you cool? Because you're gonna, so you're gonna be using the computer here at this desk then. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll just rotate my TV when I. If I need okay. It. All right. I'm just making sure because that's the hardest part is like getting the camera angle and everything for the webcam setup is. And if I have, if I have to sit by my desk for, for my computer for the webcam, I'll do that and just be over there. And there's my phone. Where did I put my phone? I think under the keyboard. Hi, mom. I'm downstairs recording. I'm downstairs recording right now. Yes, mom. <laughs> she needs something? Probably cigarettes. Oh. I was gonna say, um, if you want, uh You want me to run out and grab one? Oh, I was actually going to say you could take our car for one run quick. I'm just going to oh, no, no, I do. Don't worry about it. Okay. I don't know what she wants, but it's probably not too important. Because she's, I can tell her she's still sleeping. Well, she was up when I went up. She was up in the kitchen making snakes. Well, guys, I'll, I'm going to go see what my mother needs. I wasn't planning on it, but family, family. So I'm going to leave you in the trusty hands of the tech expert, A. Ross. We're going to say lots of racist things. Can we not? I'm kidding. I'm brown. I can get away with some of them. Alright, so HDMI cable is going to go right there. Hold on. And we're going to run it up here. We can close this. So I like the features of it. I just don't feel like it's worth as much as they made it pay for. It. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's definitely cool, though. Remove internal packaging before setup. Yeah, don't say. I really like that the glass looks good. Yeah, that's really slick. I like that. I really do quite like that. The only thing I would want on it is just RGB. Which I guess uh, in the bottom you can put some RGB lights or something. No, she just needs to be running the store before night to get a, a particular adult product. Yeah. Okay, so let me explain how this works. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is have... The HDMI for your Xbox, we can already get that set up. So if you want to run me the HDMI from your Xbox, that goes in the in. Okay. And then you're going to want to run a cable HDMI from the out. So the HDMI would probably be on the back of the Xbox, so I'd have to move my uh, some of the stuff that's over there. Uh, so you're going to need that HDMI, and then how many HDMI inputs do you have on your TV? Two. Because this in its own is going to have to be a separate one, because... Here is going to be the problem we're going to run into. I just realized that. It comes with two, and I, um, one of them is just for the Xbox. But if we're already running the Xbox through the, the computer, I can always unlock that one. The problem is this. Mm -hmm. is You're using your TV as the monitor for your computer, which will work for now. But once you start streaming, you have, you have to switch it over 
so you can game. But now you can no longer watch your stream on the other computer and make sure everything's working properly. You get what I'm saying? So I can't watch it on this one? No, no, you can. But, like, so you're going to be using that as a monitor for this computer. Mm -hmm. Then you have to actually switch it over as if you're playing the Xbox on the TV. So now you can't mess with the computer anymore because you're now playing on the Xbox. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're going to have to go over here, make sure everything's working, hit start, start broadcasting, make sure your broadcast is going, and then switch your HDMI over to the Xbox. Okay. So it's going to be a hassle and a half. And then every time you go back to your PlayStation, you're going to have to unplug one of the HDMI's. I think I'm going to have to call you a few times. That's fine. <laughs> I knew we should have just brought you that fucking TV. I have a small TV, and it would have worked fine for you. It's dark. That, that's the whole reason I didn't bring it is because it's very dark. That, like, the LED panels are going out in the back. Mm -hmm. and yeah, we had Austin play Remnant on it once, and he couldn't see anything. I couldn't see anything. But I thought it might work as a monitor all right, but I also... I didn't want to bring you over crap, you know what I mean? Right, I appreciate it. So, this sucks. I mean, well, like I said, by next month I should have a, a monitor. Actually, uh, Amber, do you know where my phone is? No, I handed it to you and it's gone forever. I was using oh. the flashlight. Oh, thanks. Uh, you left it in the hands of trusty Zelda. Okay. But I actually have not played with DS yet. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I like that, though. That's very cool. Oh, did the, yeah, the guys at GameStop actually held on to it for me. Oh, awesome. I got them like, oh, I really want it, and there was only, like, one left. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, man, I can't buy it yet. I, I can do it next month. I'm like, okay, I'll hold on to it. And it was, like, like a secret, like, thing, but he's like, yeah, I'll hold on to it. Uh, where's the closest Best Buy? Uh, Grafton. Best Buy Grafton? Mm-hmm. That's not far from here, is it? No, it's, like, 10, 20 minutes, depending yeah. on how you drive. I put beat by. Come get your shit. Sorry. Why? Right. Uh, they may actually have the cable that we need that would actually allow this to go to my monitor. So I'm gonna call them and see if we have one, and then I'll go pick it up. Okay. I guess I could go on Facebook too and see if anyone's selling a cheap little TV. We could do. I mean, yeah, but then we have to wait to pick it up. Probably. I'm sure. I'm sure I could. Well, I can use my phone and see. I didn't hear what they said at the post. No, they should be open till nine. Yes. I called and it said it just said sorry we're closed. It shouldn't be. Sorry, we closed three months ago. And again, uh, everyone's saying that GameStop is Wait, done. Fox Point, that's not the one I'm looking for. No, it's Grafton. I put Grafton. It's, there's no there's none in Grafton. Grafton was Grafton. I have a question for you, Ryan, that's probably a bad question. Uh, as, as long as it's not a eh, question. Um, is your room haunted? Why? Because I keep hearing noises, and it's a little freaky. Do you want me to answer that question honestly? Yes. I've had mice in this room. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I just... There's mice traps right there. Okay. But, depending on where, where are you hearing it? It's like from over in that corner. No, mice have not been over there, so one of my sores might be haunted. Can you go back to it just being mice? <laughs> sure! Sure. Yeah, they're closed. The, the Best Buy in, in Grafton closed. What about so Fox Point's the closest. Fox Point is... Let's see how far away. Hang on, let me give me a ring. I actually have that number in my phone. I'm not saying I doubt you, I'm just saying. So it's about 20 minutes to the one Fox place on the phone. Mine rang too, but then it disconnected after a minute. Hi, Amy. Are you guys open? I know it's a dumb question, but we call, my buddy tried calling you guys. Hi, Amy. Are, are you guys open right now? Uh, he can't hear me, but they're open. What? Grab it. Grafton. Yeah, seriously, I just looked them up. 
It's probably because we're in a basement. Or because you're, you're calling GameStop. Oh, that's, that's yeah. I called GameStop. No, uh, Best Buy. Oh, I thought you were talking about GameStop. No, 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 Best Buy. Oh yeah, Brad, I mean, oh, she was telling me it was Best Buy. You're calling, yeah, Game, uh, Best Buy. And Did Grafton. I say GameStop? Oh, I'm just out of it. Yeah, the Best Buy and Grafton closed like a year ago because of um, the economy, and they were closing that store to save money. I can see Target out there. Target is a little closer. Not to mention, I mean, I do have to go to Fox. I have to go to Fox Point some, at some point to get my radio installed. Sorry guys, well this video this part of the portion of the video is just us trying to deal with some tech problems. Well, not really tech problems, more like setup. But I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I think we're just trying to call from a basement and the phones aren't happening. No, no, no. That's not, I made multiple calls. People have a hard time hearing. You guys fucking suck. <laughs> God, you pile of shit for a fucking company. No wonder you're closing. Call them up. Press one to ask about a product. One. Please enter the SKU number. I got one of those. Do you not have one of those? I got one of those. Got zero. Zero. <laughs> Silence. If you're done, and you have more questions, press one. I still have that one question! <laughs> I don't know why companies went all automated. I think it's because they don't want to waste money on actual employees to answer their phone. That's my opinion. That's, that's my thought. Yeah. And instead of actually hiring someone to answer their phone and have a nice phone, like a nice voice, like, hi, Thank you so much for calling so and so company. <laughs> um, how can I help you today? Or how can I direct your call? Hi, I'm trying to reach so and so. Oh, okay, I'll take, I'll connect you right away. The only people I've ever heard that actually have that doctor's office, mm -hmm. lawyers, mm -hmm. um, but like basic businesses like, um, like. You're trying to get like a problem solved, like uh, you have to call like EA. Like, uh, I'll give you a perfect example. So, I pre-ordered um, Dark, uh, Dragon Age 2. And I was supposed to get everything. I only got one item. So it took me like four or five years calling these guys, and I'd always get a, uh, I didn't get a person. I always got a message like, "Who are you trying to call?" I'm like, I, I just want to talk to a human being. Mm -hmm. You ever, you ever read, uh, listen to that commercial and the guy's like, like a catering service, he's like, pushes a button, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I was trying to reach a human. But you're not, I'm a human. I'm like, why can't we have more like that? And finally, I'm like, like, how long have you been trying to get this done? Four years. Holy shit, yeah, I'm going to get this done. And he got everything a lot. I'm like, yeah, it took me four years, but thank you guys. Could have used some bonus shit thrown in there. But oh, no, there's only, there's only enough room mm -hmm. for that. Because it was only it was a certain con that you can get, so the you know we just went through and unlocked everything for me. Oh, nice. Do you have a pen and paper? Uh, give a, pen, a pad of paper to Amber. I can go upstairs and get a pen. Sitting, sitting right by me. I just need a pen or a pencil or something. Oh, I have pencils. Writable. So I accidentally spelled cords wrong and it spelled it C O R E A and now it took me to the Korean cables. Okay. Uh, where did I put those? Pencils. Oh. Uh, don't have a sharpener. That's no. fine. Any sharpener? Oh. He doesn't that want to say it. Dude, I'm probably gonna have to drive all over the fucking place to get this goddamn cable. I'm well, sorry. Why? Why don't we just go pick up a cord? I gotta find one that has it. That's gonna be the hard part. Do you want to look at Facebook while you're looking at Best Buy? Uh, yeah, if you want to see them, let's just sell a small TV. Because I'd rather spend 50 bucks on a TV than spend the next two hours driving all Now, is it a TV we're looking for or a monitor? A TV. Or a monitor. Just anything HDMI. You're probably gonna find a, a small TV cheaper. 
this pencil smells like pencil? No, it smells like I should be breathing it. Uh, one person selling. Uh, one person selling one in Port Washington for twenty five dollars. Tomorrow from ten a.m. until eight p.m. Twenty five dollars for it's my. Availability or sales. Please press one for delivery, installation, or setup. For product availability, press one. For all other questions, press two. To return to the main menu. That's just the first one I found. So Not HDMI. Welcome to the product availability. I already found it. Please enter the five Please wait while I check. Sorry, the store's inventory shows this product is not available. Uh, this one has an AC in my port. Is that we're looking for? Uh, yeah, sorry. Of course, don't fucking have it. Why would you guys have it? Time to call. Closest Walmart, Sockville, probably won't have it. But this one is uh, 30 bucks in a Sheboygan. I'm not doing that. I don't trust a bitch. There are two places don't ever buy anything from. Never buy anything from anyone in Sheboygan. Never buy anyone. And yet yeah, we're going to eat. We're going to go to eat in Sheboygan. Yeah, you can eat in Sheboygan. <laughs> yeah, I trust like the their uh, businesses, like... just not the people. <laughs> <laughs> they got a fucking bad heroin problem. Shitty people there. Pretty general. Okay, let's see. What was I doing? Oh, Walmart. Walmart and Stockville. Um, Milwaukee. Uh, this one looks like yours. What? Your LG. Yeah, yeah, like, it's weird because a lot of these monitors should have HDMI hookups, like this one should, but it doesn't. Uh, the picture doesn't show. My happiness? Mine's soft though, right? Because they have a DV, a D sub, and DVIB. Yeah, we're soft, soft though. Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to. Somebody selling an NES? Or an L, it's an S. Hey, Amber. I know, it's not help. Yeah. Um, I don't even know if this one has an HDMI port or not. It just won't show. I looked through the picture; it doesn't show it. So, because it looks exactly like the one you have here. I hope I know my friends. They might have one, but we might have to go to West Point. I'm too nice of a friend, guys. Doing all this. Hello. Hi, uh, this is Electronics, correct? Uh, I was calling to see, do you guys have a uh, DVID to HDMI cable for a PC there? It's like that old fat screw on one that goes to an HDMI. I think I've seen them there before, but it was like a few years ago. I don't know if you guys still have it. DVID, um, so if you've been on the back of a computer monitor, you know the one that pushes in and screws in on both sides? Correct, yes. Yeah, that's on one side, and then that uh, converts into an HDMI on the other side. You know, it amazes me how much people ask for products in this. Mm -hmm. They show that it's like broken and shit. Uh, that actually that's not it, it, that doesn't matter. Um, so okay, it's, just, this. it's just the DVID to the HDMI. So he's giving, he's asking for $40 uh, uh, for a video monitor. D V as in D as in Dave. Look at that. V is like, like someone a dog chewed it. Oh god, that's exactly what happened. I would show this to everyone on YouTube, but I don't want somebody pestering this guy. I respect people's privacy. I found a TV. I mean, this one's in soft in Grafton, but it's free. It's an almond with uh, TV monitor, but I don't know if it's HDMI because I can't see it. This one right here, it's free, but I can't see anything else about it. Uh, click on it? Yeah, it is. There's nothing. That's the only picture it gets, gives you, and here's the DVD description. Do you mind if I... Yeah, go for it. Yeah, guys, we're just kind of uh, trying to figure things out. 
Uh, we'll probably have to edit a bunch of this. Is it on? Nope, because you're talking while I'm on the phone. I'm believing all of it. I would just send them a quick message and ask them if it's HDMI or not. Or the thing that becomes my doll. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't even think we made my look like this anymore. Honestly, at the time and all this is taken, we probably if we would have just left when we got the TV. We probably already do there on the way back. You want, we can go ahead and do that. No, it sucks. I don't want to give it to you. It's just a turd. It's, not, mm -hmm. it's such a pain. I got a TV for 15 bucks in Grafton. That's not bad. What size? Uh, it's 23 inches. That'd be oh, so fine. What's the brand? 50 bucks. Not the price, the brand. Oh, uh, Samsung. I can't hear you. You're whispering. What's the brand? 50 bucks? Dude, this, look, this thing looks like it's 20 years old. Oh, dude, that's at least 50. <laughs> Dude, and not only that, but you're going on the rope on the phone. You only have one HDMI cord on your computer. The other ones are display outs, so we have to find a display to an HDMI cable. Which not super what? Nothing. Don't you dare. You're pretty little loud about it. Look at that, guys. He said, I'm pretty. I don't know what to say. You know what, Brian? I don't think I'm helping you anymore. <laughs> It's never simple when it comes to your problems. It's never simple when it comes to my problems either. I know, but you're cute. Hello, what's up? <laughs> so you're pretty, but you're not cute. I guess that's like a... It, it's yeah, a yeah, DVI. Shh. DVI to HDMI. Oh, sick. You guys got some ammo clearance? You are my hero. I will be there in ten minutes to grab the cord, and you will get a hug from a stranger. All right, thank you, man. Bye. I'm like, all right, I'll be there in a minute. So he's grab on. He's like, they're on clearance for football watching. Road trip. You guys come with me tomorrow, or you can stay here. No, the V loves for all of us. So nice. Just go ahead and stop it. We'll we'll turn it on when we get back, and we'll set it all together. All right, guys, we'll be back. Yeah. Okay, now.